Alright guys, now that I showed you guys on the other video how to get all the deleted files for um, the Counter Strike source, um, you go to. I'm gonna show you how to run it now and do some configuration on it. So before you actually start the server, uh, you want to go where you have the files. It should be in the orange box folder. The most important file is this one right here. That's the one that's gonna launch the game. So then you go to Counter Strike CFG and you're gonna have to create a new file. Go to text document and type in server.cfg. Click yes right here. It has to be a CFG. Make sure it's not a server.cfg.txt. It has to just be server.cfg. Open that up and then just paste what I have on the on the comments below. Okay. And from here all you really have to change is right here, this part of the server and password info. You change your host name to whatever you want it to be. This is if you have a clan you put that whatever, just put uh I don't know anything. Uh extreme gaming I guess. Uh, the Archon password is very important. Um, you have to find, make your own Archon password. That would be mine for now. Um, don't give this to anyone. It's better just to have it yourself or else anyone could control your server from inside the game. Um, that's pretty much all you have to change. Uh, you can change any of these settings. Freeze time, timeout anything but this is up to you <clears throat> I could do that later on after that we save this so now whenever we turn on the server these settings will take effect you won't have to keep changing your your um, server settings so then right after that we go back to where we have the uh, this file if you click it twice it's not going to do anything nothing's gonna open up so don't think that you did anything wrong. Open up command prompt. Type in cd to change the directory and drag the file. And then just go back all the way to orange box just to change the directory. Now, once we are here, let me make this bigger for you guys. Alright, so now we type in srcds.exe followed by we type in console so it's going to run that file in the console mode you type in game C strike for counter strike it, it's counter strike source so don't think it's a server for counter strike after that that's just that's this is just going to um, go into this folder so after we type that in max players, we put the plus sign max players, the max is 65 I believe. Uh, you do not want to put 65, it's better to put depending on your internet connection. I will tell you how to figure that out later on. For now I'm going to put 12. Plus sign map D does too, you can put whatever map you have. Um, if you guys want to learn how to add maps to your server, just go ahead and let me know in your comments and I will definitely show you guys how to get maps. Um, after that you would minus sign auto update. And another possible setting that you guys could use is insecure. But that would be only if you have friends that their accounts are banned and you can't play on the servers you can only play insecure servers if you just by typing insecure you would make the server um, well insecure and you would um, be able to let people play that have, have been banned from 
the the Counter Strike servers. Uh, does this look right, game exporters? Yeah. So after that, you just go ahead and press enter. Here it goes. You after you see back secure mode is activated, go ahead and type in status. And right here it shows hostname extreme gaming. Uh, the version, the IP, this is not going to be your actual IP, this is just your local IP. Um, and keep in mind that this is not going to work on online unless you forwarded your ports already to this computer. If you guys don't know how to do this, you guys um, just let me know also and I'll show you guys a video. I'll show you guys how to forward your ports for anyone to play on your server. You guys should know that. You guys should know how to do that though. Um... If you guys want to see if it works, just go ahead, go to your Steam servers, um, LAN, refresh it, and there it goes. Extreme Gaming. And you would just connect to it. So let me know if you guys have any questions or if you guys want to learn how to add maps, add mods, anything, I would definitely show you guys. Alright, thanks.